America's fucked up. We live in a world where cops can just fucking walk around and just make up laws because there's nobody fucking there to tell us any different. You know, how ignorance isn't an excuse? Well, what if we're ignorant of a law that doesn't exist and some cop comes by and just fucking blathers on about how this is something you can't fucking do? Like... This one time, a couple fucking months ago, I, uh, was burning some shit in my backyard. Now, I live in a town area. I live across the fucking road from a cornfield. And this, I've had the cops called on me for having fires quite a few times before. They've always told me, you know, just don't make it any bigger, you know, you got a, a hose right next to it, and... You're all good. I'll let you on your lily dallin way. And fucking the last time a pig showed up at my house, he walked up and said, yeah, blah, 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 put the fire out. If, you, if I come back and it's lit, I'm going to sight you. But here's the funny thing about that. He came and told me that he doesn't know what the regulations are, and that I should go and fucking check. Now, fuck him. Just fuck him. Really? You're gonna make me put out a fire on the premise that you think. Now, you're a fucking, he's a fucking pig. And he doesn't even know a simple, simple, simple fucking law of whether or not you can have a fire in your backyard. I've had several experiences with fuckhead pigs. And some of them are nice. You know, they're, they're not dickheads. Like, um, I don't know, when I was a kid... Uh, mm. I guess I should rephrase that. When I was about 13 or 14, um, I was in a very dark place. I didn't want to do anything, didn't want to get up. So, my mom has called the cops on me twice for not getting out of bed and going to school. The first time, I don't know, I think I might have been 13, 14, so anywhere in between 13 and 15. I know I was 16 the last, the second time, but the first time, they made me get in the back of a cop car, and they took me to school, which I'm pretty sure I legally did not have to do, because the second time, I, it might have been that I was 16 then, and I, there's some stupid law where, oh, you turn 16, you don't have to be drug into school by the pigs. Um, so yeah, I was laying in bed, the fucking cop walks in, and there's a lot of roofers around, um, where I live, and it's sort of, like, considered a low-class job, I don't it makes our right money, like, probably 15 to 25 an hour, unless you're, like, amazing or something, so... This guy, this, this cop, walks into my room and starts blathering on about how I'm going to be a roofer and my fucking back is going to be shot by the time I'm 25. So that's what the cops think of me. That's what the cops think of fucking roofers around here. And I, don't get me, don't get them wrong, because I have had some experience roofing. Back when I was 13, um, there was this guy that lives across the hill. He owns his own, uh, roofing crew. He subcontracts. And he pays a lot of his employees under the table. Most of them are, like, city people and... There's, I was 13, so, and I was kind of a fat kid. Kind of still am. <clears throat> so, imagine some fat kid on the ground. I wasn't on the roof ever, really. Um, I was on the ground, and I was 
picking the fucking shankles off the ground, this, that, and the next, and they were, they were just some real fucking dickheads there. Every one of them. Well, there was one. Not gonna say his name, but he was, he was, I still talk to him, I see him around still. He was a pretty cool guy. Um... I know, I've gone way off the topic that I originally wanted to start off with, which was going to be like, hey everybody, I want to fucking end the retardedness in the world of government and politicians, but that, I kind of went way off topic right there. But, I don't know, I guess that's it. Peace out, it's cruels.